France 24's Delano D'Souza spent the day at the headquarters of Macron's alliance in Paris. Here he is. It's been a disastrous night for the Ensemble or Together Coalition, which just secured 234 seats in the National Assembly, far short of the 289 they needed to secure that majority in Parliament. So what this means is that Emmanuel Macron's next uh, term in office uh, will be more complicated for the French president. He won't be able to rule with a free hand, and now he will have to consult uh, Parliament uh, for any changes uh, to laws which he would like uh, to, to make. Uh, earlier tonight, we had the French Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne, who said that tonight's result needed to be respected. Elizabeth Bourne said that the government would be uh, trying to announce uh, measures to tackle uh, the cost of living crisis we are currently witnessing here in France. Now, the mode at the headquarters of the Ensemble or Together Coalition tonight was extremely somber. We had no high-profile figures from Emmanuel Macron's La République uh, on the move uh, party, uh, but some party officials uh, behind the scenes told me that they were disappointed uh, in the president, uh, saying Emmanuel Macron didn't do enough over the past week to campaign here in France, given that he spent three out of the past uh, three days out of the past week not here in France, but in in Romania, in Moldova, and in Ukraine when he should have been here. One person told me, "What signal does that give French voters?"